Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay. Let's get started. You know, I'm just gonna come out with videos with Halloween makeup and just surprise you all. How to prevent it, what to do when you're going through thinning locks. And before I get anything started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I just want to tell you guys the difference quickly between thinning locks and thin locks. Thinning locks is um at the root. Uh, sometimes with me it happens. Well, not really, but at the root, um, you will see a bunch of new growth. But there's like a couple strings attached that's like holding your hair to your locks to your scalp and then around it is a bunch of new growth is because the lock and your new growth is not binding together and that happens with me as well but the difference is is my mine is not thinning at the top that will be considered thin, thinning locks thin locks on the other hand i of course when i'm looking for it i'm not gonna be able to find it but you know you have a few locks that are just thinner than the rest. That's not a bad thing as well because those locks, those thin locks, could still be healthy as opposed to the thinning locks is what you will have to stay cautious with and, and kind of just look at. Okay, so moving on, these are the things that may be causing you to have um, thinning locks. One thing that could happen is, you guys already know this because I tell you guys this all the time, is over twisting your hair. I can say this because like I try to explain to you guys, on my channel I actually went through these things so I'm trying to like educate you to prevent you from doing it. But not everything I go through, you are gonna go through. A lot of people, when you retwist your hair so much, like say you're retwisting your hair like every three weeks or every two weeks, like I used to do, like like as soon as you see a frizz, you wanna twist it again, your hand is always in your hair, so much manipulation is going on. You're not, you're breaking down at your roots, you're making them weaker and weaker. And in the roundabout sense, then you're causing it to get thinner. So retwisting your hair so much, you guys already know this, don't retwist your hair so much. Another reason for you to have thinning um, on your locks could be genetics. The hair is not a bad thing, but when growing locks, you yourself have to be a little mindful of the products you use, how much you style and retwist your hair. You just have to go an extra step because of genetic wise, um, you were forced in kind of into this um, situation so now you have to do steps to take care of it and prevent it to even happening quickly or even at all you put your hair in these hairstyles that are so tight and they're just pulling on your poor poor roots like I show you guys hairstyles from time to time but that's things that I do once in a blue moon most of the time you see how my hair looks now this is how my hair is, it's just hanging, it's chilling. I'll probably have it in a bun, but on the bottom it's not OD tight. It's not like restricting the growth or anything. So I don't really do, I used to do a lot of hairstyles like every two weeks or once a week, I mean once a month, I used to get a fresh new hairstyle. And I, I could start seeing the damage that it was causing my locks. So I really had to like kind of like fall back with doing that. And if you find yourself doing your hair like every two weeks, it might not be affecting your locks right now, but it might, because some people are different, it probably won't even bother you. But some people it might start showing down the line that all that manip manipulation that you were putting into your hair has a bad effect, which will be causing thinning. Another thing is interlocking your hair um, and doing it too much. I personally have um, never interlocked my hair before. I've, I've never done that. I don't think I will ever do that. Interlock the hair too much, that causes um, the pulling of your your scalp, I mean your roots, and the separation that happens when you're interlocking, that can cause thinning as well. So if you're doing it so much, um, kind of fall back on it. Try to do it like once a month or um, once every two months or probably try not to do it at all. But if you feel like that works for you the best, then try not to do it so frequently. The last thing I could say that can cause you to have thinning on your locks 
will be because you're twisting your hair when it's dry you know sometimes you sit down and you just and you guys know me you always is a hand in the hair syndrome is what it is you're always in there just like twisting twisting i am 14 years in the game and i still have a habit of doing this sometimes i gotta catch myself and like stop it your hair isn't even moisturized eh? and then you're in your hair just like twisting it twisting it twisting it and it's like okay but there's no moisture that's locking it together so you're basically ripping your hair out so these are what i feel like are reasons why you might be having um thinning locks so to move forward to because we need to prevent uh, like to fix the problem i would say castor oil castor oil helps with the growing of hair and to make it thick you guys might not like the smell of castor oil, but you like some of my subscribers were saying you could put rosemary in there, you could put peppermint, you could put lavender, you could just change the scent up a little bit. It's not going to change the chemistry of castor oil, but it does help with thickening your hair. Also, I would suggest do not do anything with your hair for a while. If you notice your hair is thinning, kind of just wash it moisturize it but leave it alone for a while meaning like don't twist it you know what i'm saying don't or don't put it in styles or if you know interlocking at that point if you think that that's going to help possibly do that but then leave it alone for a few months where you don't do anything to it just let your hair breathe and grow and also last but not least is just to keep your hair moisturized you guys already know the deal hope this this video helped you guys out so much um i get this question a lot about thinning and thin locks i hope i started off from, from the beginning to the end and helped everybody out. If you have any questions, leave comments down below. I will answer them as soon as I can and as the best that I can. Keep the conversation going downstairs in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, there's a link in the description box um, to donate to the Virgin Islands. You guys already know that I was raised there and we had like two of the, uh, the worst hurricanes passed by us uh, as recently and we just need uh, the love and support. Um, donate whatever you can. That would be great. Um, I love you guys so much for watching. See you later, Tiger Lilies. See you on Thursday? Tuesday or Thursday. See you then. See you later, Tiger Lilies. This is nothing but the work of Jesus. <laughs> Let me have the money in the Let's dashboard. Go. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curb, then asking me for intercourse. I'm sorry, but you're lost. I'm sorry, but I'm lost.